Good morning. Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. I have a clip so you don't have to look at my face anymore. So welcome back. I hope you've had a beautiful, beautiful weekend. So we have quite a few, so we're going to run with it. Right. Oh, we have Define Feminine and Masculine here. We have Sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. Fire. Let go of emotional upheaval. Embrace the renewal of the present. Chariot. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. And moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So all of them are telling you to move. Move, move, move. We have perfect timing. Wowzers. Wowzers. Right, see please. Angel spirit guides for our beautiful, beautiful collective. What do they need to see? Thank you so much. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns healing. Rewriting the future. This is breaking free from ancestral ties. This is moving forward. So I'm going to get some more information. I can feel what's coming, but I'm going to get some more information before I speak of it too much. We have Penguin, authentic. Reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations. Just be yourself. Now, family doesn't have to be blood family. Family can be soul family. And everybody sees family in a different form. Um, and sometimes people are sent into our lives in a different form, a soul family. And, you know, it can be either, either or. So, let's get some clarifiers, angel spirit guides, for sun, fire, chariot and moon. What do they need to see here? Thank you. The six of cups. Okay, what else? Some more, please. Thank you. The five of pentacles, the empress. If you want that one, you can throw it out properly, please. Wasn't sure. Any more? No. Okay, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Thank you so much. Communication is coming in. King of Swords, the world, and the sun. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wowzers. Okay. Break the chain. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Um, and Penguin Authentic, please. I love penguins. They're so cute. Happy Feet is probably one of my favourite films in the world. I'm just saying. I'm not ashamed of it either. I absolutely love music. I used to watch it with my daughter all the time. On repeat. But I still love it. <laughs> okay. What else? Just feeling the cards. Right. I saw that and it wanted to come out. And that one. Well, if you want it, throw it, angels. Right. They're telling me to keep going. Yeah. Oh, wow. Blimey, Charlie. At the bottom, we have the full. This is taking a leap of faith. This is the number of an enlightenment. This is movement forward. This is having faith in the universe and your path. So, my beautiful watchers, I'm going to adjust slightly, grab a seat, and we shall begin. Okay, my beautiful watchers, I can see this is a healing journey in this read. So... We're going to start with the sun energy and I'm going to explain as we go. So we've got open your heart to the enormous growth ahead, followed with let go of emotional upheaval, embrace the renewal of the present, chariot, charge ahead with confidence, stay strong and focused, moon, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So they're very much wanting you to move ahead, charge forward, shine brightly like the sun. Now with the fire energy, that's release. And I can see this up here. You're releasing ancestral ties. You're releasing the binds of what society almost say to you, how you're conditioned to believe a process should happen. Now a release and surrender is trusting in the universe and the path moving forward. It's also trusting your higher self and the higher beings that we go through these experiences 
in order to grow our souls, you know, lessons or blessings which I speak of. And these aren't something you're meant to hold on to for a lifetime. These are actually meant to be released because when you've learned your lesson from the darkness, as it were, we journey through the darkness in order to find the light and that's a transmutation of energy. And this is what the soul growth is all about. Now we have that teamed with the six of cups, the five of pentacles and the empress. So it's a very, very different and shifting vibrational frequency here. So with the sun and the fire, obviously that is hot, right? And we've got the chariot and the moon. We've also got the defined feminine and masculine, as I said when I was dealing. You know, we've got the sun and the moon energy here. And between them, we've got the chariot and fire. So what they want to do... Um, and what they want to teach you here is it's a movement forward. Now, there's something to do with either childhood, because the Six of Cups talks about nostalgia, or childhood memories type thing. The Five of Pentacles and the Empress. You need to burn those ancestral ties. So this is an order for your soul growth moving forward. And how you can do that, if, you know, I won't ever tell you to do something and not teach you how to do it. How you can actually do that is, you know, you can have a cord cutting exercise, you can go to a Reiki practitioner, Reiki master, um, there's so many different formats, you can literally um, release by sitting on the ground doing a cord cutting meditation and you know if you check out the cleansing meditation, there's beach meditations and things like that, it'll help you release the past energies but you've got to do it from your heart and when you open your heart you're actually open to the higher beings and this is when you can actually cleanse properly and you can speak to Michael ask him to bring his sword in and remove those obstacles it enables you to move forward with your life because once you've shed the darkness once you've released the cloud from your soul it enables you to shine brightly like the sun so what it's saying here with the fire let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present you live in the now right and you charge ahead magnificently now if this is with a relationship whether this is with business they want to know that you're heading in the right direction you know charge ahead with confidence and stay focused stay focused on your mission whatever your mission might be whether it's a mission of love whether it's a mission of business now with the moon pay attention to your intuition which tells me you're a higher dimensional spiritual being here so you're following your intuition and what what I feel with those cards there is you felt left out in the cold with something and what they're saying now is abundance is coming into form this is the balance in of energies and your main card is the sun. So you're shining brightly like the sun and you've got it here. Be proud of who you are. Move forward. With the sun energy, it can mean many, many different things, but it's always a positive thing. So whatever you've done to change and shift your frequency is extremely positive. Okay, so don't ever apologize for who you are. Be who you are. Own it. Absolutely own it because that's what the beautiful thing about you is as an individual. So shine brightly like the sun really release those ties now we're going to perfect timing and they're trying to tell you that they want you to release that past because now is the perfect time for this evolution perfect timing now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations the doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side don't delay or procrastinate as all the ingredients are ripe for your success Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. And as you can see, the angel is blowing the horn. It's like judgment, okay? It's judgment coming over it. That's what I feel. And as you can see, she's got musical notes and everything. She's a free spirit. She's guided by the light. Her heart energy is coming out there. You have an open heart. Obviously, we've got this green color heart chakra energy, right? And what it's saying is because you're connecting in, you're shining brightly like the sun, you're doing this release of energy. Now is the divine perfect timing. And oh my goodness, is it? Because you've got communication coming in and this is swift action as well. So they want you to be swift with it. And whatever you've been procrastinating over and overthinking, let go and release that energy. That is not you anymore. Just absolutely go for it. Be bold and powerful. We've got the King of Swords. Now the King of Swords in the altar, as you can see, he talks directly to his spirit guides again you're a high frequency spirit I can feel it and what's happening here is he's very very good with business he's alert to the undercurrents he's got his ducks in a row type of energy he's very logical when it comes to business and you are heart energy but you've got the balance of both and that's what it's saying now the world was under the eight of wands could mean you communicating with the world this could be a worldwide business this could be somebody across the world but you, but you need to shine brightly like the sun this is every aspect of you 
okay? So whatever this is, the opportunity is here. You need to bear yourself naked and true and proud. Do not apologize for who you are. Be who you are. Release your energy from heart energy. Shine like the sun. They've told you twice. You are charging forward, which is a force of destiny on the chariot. You are no longer going to be left out in the cold because we're finishing with empress. You know, that is abundance. That is an abundance of life. It's phenomenal. You could be having a baby, absolutely. But it's an abundance of life. I just don't feel that here. I feel this is about your soul growth. Yeah, no, they're telling me it's about your soul growth here. So this is charging forward with something and they just want you to be aware of the opportunity that is coming into light within the next 48 hours or whenever you see this read and communication is coming forth, right? And they want you to be ready for it. This is like you take tarot as a warning, right? And the King of Swords, be alert to the undercurrents. Use your intuition during this time and it's something to do with communication. Shine brightly like the sun with no apology. We have... Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. This is you creating your own reality and the reality you want. This is one of the most beautiful cards. As you can see, she is journeying. She's about to go into that cave. And I always see this cave as the cave of enlightenment where it holds the sacred waters. And this is a rebirth of energy. And that's what I very much feel from this. And I always feel when I look at that card, she's journeying in there for a rebirth. And this is connection to earth. This is connection to the higher powers. Now we have the Knight of Pentacles with that. The Knight of Pentacles is he's the mission of the material gain and manifestation so when it's balanced with spirituality and the material that's what they're saying here and it's coming into light so when you have the mission of the material gain and manifestation he's very hard working he's often earth energy I keep telling you to ground and she's grounded and she's beautifully grounded because she's on a beach there so you know it's that connecting to the elementals and they want you to do that in order to replenish your energy and that this is in its infancy and it might take some time but it's telling you to go 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 for it because it's the right thing to do i can see you serving from the heart which is phenomenal with the king of cups even on rocky waters he maintains his balance right and the knight of wands is that energetic worker it's charging you forward again this is a force of destiny this is a force of energy and whatever that might be it's telling you to go for it and you need to ground but there is an opportunity and it's going to happen really really fast so they just want you to be aware that grounding during this time is essential this will help you replenish your energy and get ready for the next chapter because we've got the fall on the bottom so when you've released these this ancestral ties here and you know you're journeying forward they want you to be a clear vessel and that's what they're saying and then you once you've connected in and you're a clear vessel your new chapter is going to begin and it's very very exciting because this is just phenomenal i mean it's amazing penwin authentic reach out to your tribe in times of need family gives you strength when you face the storm love your uniqueness you are full of surprises. Break free. Again, they're talking about breaking free from others' expectations. Just be yourself and shine like the sun, baby. So they're just repeating themselves here, guys. They're repeating themselves in a beautiful, beautiful form. Know who you are now. Family can be your soul tribe. Absolutely. You are my tribe online and I absolutely love it. I have you tribe online. I have soul family here. It's phenomenal. And when you meet like-minded and heart open people, they are your family, right? We don't have to have the blood form a family. Absolutely not. Your family who is probably 10 cats, you know, it's completely up to you. I know I'm obsessed with cats. I love cats. I love all animals, all animals. I've just saved a spider from my little candle and um, I love all creatures, all animals. But what they're saying is be authentically you and don't apologize. Shine brightly like the sun, you know, be you. Have that clarified with the seven of pentacles and the page of cups so what that tells me with the seven of pentacles as you can see on the old tarot this is very much related to family it's a family card in the old tarot and with that we have the page of cups so you could be getting a message from family so this could be your soul family absolutely this could be a download from your family above um it's how you see it now we have the two of wands and the lovers now the two of wands can talk about 
you know, great partnerships. It can also talk about, it's related to the high priestess. So they want you to use your intuition during this time. A decisive point has been met because I can see there's been some battles here with the five of swords. You felt defeated in a battle, but you're not. This is acting in your own interest during this time. And that's what they're saying between those two. A decisive point has been met. And that's something very much to do with family. So something needs to be spoken of because the swords represent communication because this decisive point has been met. Now, this can be with a partnership, absolutely. But what it's saying here is you've got healing and it's going to bring your Ten of Cups, which is amazing. It's also, this could be a message coming in with the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. You're going to hear something. And this is to do with you and your partner, okay? Something you've been battling with. Now, this could absolutely be your Pentacles. Healing is going to come forward and the Ten of Cups everything is going to balance out so this is your abundance this is your happy home happy life card and what I feel here angel spirit guides bear with me yeah hang on a minute guys they want me to pick up this deck what do you want to see show me thank you what is it ah We've got the full and the full. Have the courage to embrace change, take risks and be adventurous. So they want you to be adventurous during this time. I believe you're going to have a progression of energy and a new start here. So something, if something's been a tough battle, you're going to restart this frequency. You're going to restart this, this, this new, it's a new energy because we have the full here and we have the full here. So it's like a rebirth. As I told you, she's going into the cave there. This is the rebirth of energy. Now this can be a relationship, but you are getting this message coming into you. And I can see this communication and things is coming forth. So something's going to come in. Something's going to be able to heal because the stars are following your stars. It's your dream, desires and healing leading to your ten of cups for this new beginning to take place, guys. And that's what they're saying here. Now this can be a change and frequency this doesn't mean a whole new life all the time this can be a change in a relationship this can be changing dynamical energy and what happens is when those dynamics around you changes it changes the frequency which enables you to see through different glasses it enables you to have a rebirth of energy because you see the world differently and this is a this is basically stepping up to a higher vibration and when that happens it's like leveling up leveling up now the full is the number of enlightenment which tells me you've been enlightened upon a path it tells me that you are ready to level up during this time and they want you to have courage and embrace the change take risks and be adventurous let your soul go where it pleases basically during this time let your intuition lead you upon the path and see where it takes you because where it's taking you is very very fortunate indeed so that is your next 48 hours guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have give me a thumbs up leave me a little message below i love talking to you and connecting with your energy and until next time from my heart to yours lots of love from me lauren and bye bye for now